when is offering herself up to Ethan to make him forget I ever existed. I think I'm gonna be sick. You feel so good. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh. <sighs> you are incredible. I love you. Mm. And I love making love to you. you again is just it's, it's my dream come true and i only hope that pretty and fancy can find the kind of happiness with the man that i have with you <laughs> gwen thinks that she got away with murder my murder so she could have ethan all to herself only i am not dead i'm alive and i am mad as hell somehow gwen some way you will pay for what you've done to me as god is my witness you will pay <gasps> Incredible. Never could get enough of you. I finally have Ethan back in my bed and under my spell. I almost wish Teresa was here just to see me now. Oh my God! What? What? You look like you've seen a ghost. What? Dear Tabs, just a quick note to let you know all's well here in Berlin. The ladies who love ladies love us. Norma's been stopped several times on the street, being mistaken for Arnold Schwarzenegger. There you are. Can't a witch even read her mail in peace? Are you always this rude to your guests? I consider an overgrown vermin a pest, not a guest. What do you want? What do I always want? To bring pain to harmony. So? So, I can't have you standing in my way. I beg your pardon. I'm here to tell you to back off or else. Incredible. I'm glad you liked it. I met you. Upstairs, you uh. were... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. Well, you inspire me. And it pleases me to please you. We're going to have to add that to our favorites list. Oh. <laughs> Noah? Paloma? Dad. Ivy. We, we were, were just... just... What? what? What is it? It's Teresa. Teresa, what about her? Well, Ethan was right. Ethan, Teresa's here. Teresa's here? Yes. Oh, God, I can't let Ethan see me. Juanita would kill my whole family if word got out that I'm alive. You actually saw her? Yeah. Ethan, she's in the mirror. Teresa's here. I don't see her, Gwen. Oh, 
You, uh, do you ever knock, ever? No, Mother. Teresa's here. What? She's alive and she's here. <sighs> Dios mío. What have I done? <clears throat> uh, Paloma and I thought you'd be in bed by now. Well, we, we were. <laughs> uh, sleeping. That's what she meant. We were, we were sleeping. Oh, yeah. Right. We just came downstairs to get a snack because we were so ravenous after we were yes, sleeping. sleeping. Right, sleeping. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Paloma, you're, off, you're out awfully late tonight. Uh, yeah, no, and I thought we would come here for a little <clears throat> snack. Yeah, we were hungry. For a snack. Like you guys were. Well, help yourself. Yeah. There's plenty more where this came from. Sam. Food, food. I meant food. Oh, right, food. Oh, of course. Would you like something to drink? A wine would be nice. Great, I'll open another bottle. I'll open a bottle. <laughs> well, look, I'm, I'm glad you both are here. We are? You are? Uh, we are. You know, since you're going to get married, there's some things I'd like to talk to you about. Oh, me too. Me too. You listen to me, you evil imp. Just because Kay refused to send you packing, not using magic, thanks to her misguided love for Miguel, that doesn't mean that I'll let you have free reign here in Harmony. And Endora and I are off limits to your evil, do you understand? If you mess with me, I will unleash major mojo to get rid of you. Kay's magic ban be damned. You'd risk exposure as a witch just to see me go. Nah. In a New York minute. Are you going to yell at us? No, I'm just going to offer you both a little advice. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that, uh, that we made along the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mistakes that, that almost cost us our love. Say it. Say it with me. Endora and I are off limits. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. <sighs> well, you better mean it, or you will feel the wrath of a witch. happy to hear anything you guys have to say. Yes. If you guys were able to salvage your relationship after what you did to Noah's mother, I'm sure that both of you have a deep understanding of love. <laughs> what I think Paloma means to say is that we'd appreciate anything at all that you guys have to tell us. Yeah. Paloma, will you help me get some crackers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have some more wine. Yeah, me too. I meant what I said as a compliment. I'm sure Dad and Ivy know that. Uh, any tension in the air was tension from the um, lack of crackers. Look, we'll stay. We'll hear what advice they have to give us, and then we'll get out of here and find a place to be alone, okay? Okay, I can't wait. Yeah, me neither. I'm really sorry. I didn't think they'd be up. It's okay. You know, we just go somewhere else. Maybe your house. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I'm sure Mama stay with little Ethan at the mansion. Sweet. I can't wait to be alone with you. <sighs> Young love. Poor kids, if they only knew how great love is at our age. <laughs> yeah, I pity them. Me too. <laughs> Honey, calm down. Teresa can't be here. She's dead. Yeah, I thought she was dead until I just saw her in the mirror, and she looked right at me, and she wasn't smiling either. Well, yeah, what did the dead have to be smiling about? I mean, especially when they're eaten alive. Look, something, something's going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. What? What does he mean there's something going on here? Okay, earlier tonight, little Ethan said that Teresa came to see him. And earlier, little Ethan heard her singing a lullaby. I heard her sing it, too. What? Really? 
Yeah. And then Gwen just claimed to have actually seen her after she had convinced Lolita and I that we were just victims of uh, wishful thinking. I, I'm confused here. Is Teresa here or not? Yeah. Something is going on, and if she's here, I'm going to find her. Teresa? Teresa, please, come out. Gwen's seen you, little Ethan's seen you. You know I want to see you. Oh, Ethan. Ah, uh, uh, hold on oh. just a minute here. I never thought I'd be grateful to Rebecca for anything, but I am now. What? Are you blind? Did you see her? Did you see Teresa? What? Yeah, I saw Gwen. That's who I see. I see Gwen. I mean, look at what you're doing to my daughter with all this talk about Teresa. I mean, she's the pathetic wretch that she is now because of you. And for God's sake, she's seen dead people around the mansion, and it's all your fault. I didn't realize how hungry I was after we... Fell asleep. Right. 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 Yeah. My, Noah, you're eating as if you're starving, too. Oh, um, Paloma and I have been craving a good, uh... Food. Right. Uh, we've been very hungry for, uh, you know... Just, just for a little snack. A snack. Oh, right. Thank you. So, Ivy, what's the advice that you want to give us? Oh, well... Okay, here it is, after all of the horrible stunts I, I pulled to win Sam back, there are two things that I have learned. One is that plots and schemes always, always go horribly wrong. And if I had just been honest from the beginning, the rest of it just would have taken care of itself. Plots and schemes, they come at a terrible price. Don't ever lie to each other. And always be each other's champion. Truth and devotion will get you through anything. We're clear on that. So, who is first on your evil hit list, huh? Oh, I do have some pretty painful plans for one unlucky couple in particular. Yeah, which couple is that? <laughs> I'm not one to name names. Okay, you twisted my arm. I'll give you the initials. N and P. Noah and Paloma, huh? Nothing gets past you. <laughs> you know, if you two weren't in love, that'd be pretty gross. Oh, you're so happy together. I have never, ever been happier. Me either. You know, I don't mean to kill the mood, but can I ask you, how did you get over what happened to Mom? Oh, because of me? Well, yeah. It's, you know, it's okay. It's a fair question, and it's an important question. <laughs> well, the answer is, is complicated. You know, I was very angry at Ivy, what she had done. But I remember things that she had told me in her defense. One was that she did what she did out of love. And the other was that Grace chose David over me on her own. It was ultimately your mother's decision to, to be with David. And because of that, Grace was in London and Grace was killed. But that wasn't Ivy's fault. You know, it took me a while to work through my anger at Ivy, you know, through the situation, even Grace. But that's the conclusion that I came to. But bottom line is, Ivy loves me. And I love her. Toast. Mm -hmm. To love. Mm -hmm. To love. All right. Well, if Dad's in your corner, then 
And I guess I will be too. Thank you, Noah. Yeah, love is all that matters. Love will get you, you and Paloma, through any problem that you ever face as a couple. Yeah. Hey, we're living proof. <laughs> to get out of here, but how? The window. Ethan, do you want to see Gwen in a padded cell, foaming at the mouth, raving about Shh, Teresa? Of course not. Then stop torturing her. Stop talking about Teresa every two seconds. She is the one that said she saw Teresa. Well, yeah. That is because you have her so rattled the poor girl can't even think straight Rebecca, i don't want i don't want to hurt her never meant to yeah that is what you say that you want to be with gwen that you want to stay together for the sake of the children but how can you do that when you when you're waiting for some dead woman to make a comeback that ledge goes all the way around the second floor if i can get into another room i can get away Is Gwen supposed to compete with a ghost? How can she compete with Teresa, the singing ghost? It is not a competition. Really? Okay, then be with Gwen. Forget about Teresa. She's dead. Let her rest in pieces. Pieces? That's that's funny, Rebecca. It's the truth. She is dead. So if you want to be with Gwen, be with her before you drive her mad. Maybe little Ethan was right. Maybe Teresa is a ghost and she's come back to haunt me. Sounded like someone's out on the ledge. Someone, Teresa. Teresa can't be on the ledge. She's, she's dead. Hey, you never know. Maybe uh, Alistair faked Teresa's death like uh, he did Luis and Marty's, and she can't reveal herself because she's afraid Alistair will kill her. Who knows? Yeah, or maybe a tree limb hit the side of the house. Yeah, I, I agree with my mother. There's there's really no way Teresa can be here. Oh, thank God. Gwen will definitely keep Ethan from looking for me. Rebecca, I'm going to check the ledge. No. You are going to apologize to Gwen. But don't just think that because you love each other and you honor each other that you're going to have this perfect life. It's not going to guarantee it, you know. No matter how much you love each other, there's still plenty of bumps along the road. But love can keep you from crashing and burning. Yes, learn from our mistakes. Ivy and I were apart for decades. You know, I blame myself for letting you marry Julian. So what if you were under pressure? I should have gone to the mansion, picked you up over my shoulder and taken you out of the mansion. Only I let my foolish pride get in the way. Oh, Sam. Maybe it wouldn't have worked, but at least I should have given it a try. Well, you guys are together now. And this time, we're going to be together forever. going to do in Noah and Paloma, right? Hmm? Well, how? You just have to stay tuned and find out. Oh, well, at least give me a hint. <laughs> oh, all right. Noah and Paloma think they've solved all their problems, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I've got one more for them. And not only is it a biggie, but the problem itself is watching them, waiting for the right time to strike. Well, thank you very much for the wine and cheese. I gotta get Paloma home. I can't wait for Noah to take me home. <laughs> oh, we understand. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, we can't wait for the wedding. No, we can't wait either. Oh. For the wedding. Right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it was fun to hang out with Dad and Ivy, but um, I can't wait to be alone with you.
you. Okay, let's go. Let's hurry home. Let's go. I hope no and Paloma's problems are behind them. Looks like they are. I'd hate for them to go through what we did to get to where we are now. Oh, well, I wouldn't wish that on anyone. <laughs> oh, my poor Gwenny. I mean, seeing dead people in a lesson is all Ethan's fault. I never meant to make our situation worse for Gwen. Then why don't you try concentrating on the live, real woman in front of you instead of the dead one that is giving some shark indigestion off the coast of Mexico? Oh, my God. What? Well, it's true. I'm sorry. No, you are selfish and short-sighted. How do you think Gwen is going to feel with you constantly going on and on about a dead woman? I just said that I was sorry. Why is everybody yelling? Are you happy now? You woke up little Ethan. That's why children should be medicated at an early age. That way they're far less demanding. Uh, buddy, it's okay. I'll, I'll be in in just a second. I'm going to go check on him. I do love you. And I love you too. I knew Ethan had feelings for Gwen, but to hear him say I love you is it's like a knife in my heart. I'll be back once I get little Ethan to sleep. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I just I need to get into little Ethan's bedroom. I have to wait for Ethan to leave and for my son to fall asleep. Here, honey. Have some of this. Make you feel better. Mother, I need a lot more than a drink to uh, feel better. Okay, well, I could go raid Esme's room for some tranquilizer. She has got a whole pharmacy in there. I don't need any of that stuff. I just, I, I want to know what's going on here. Well, you saw a rat or, or a bat. That's what you saw. You saw a bat and mistook it for Teresa. I mean, they're both blood suckers. I did not see a bat. I saw Teresa. She's here, Mother. Teresa's alive. Oh, my God, Gwen. Are you crazy? You know what? We make a good team. I don't mean in private. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we really gave Noah and Paloma some really sound advice. I think so, too. I just hope they take it. If they do, I think they could actually avoid a lot of the problems that other couples have. Well, giving advice is all well and good, but I think that we have to make sure that we do what we told the kids to do. We have to believe in our love. Trust it. We believe in our life together. I mean, that all but guarantees we can live happily ever after. I promise. No more lies and no more schemes. And isn't it a glorious feeling knowing that we already know everything there is to know about each other? Oh, we made it. Fine, honey. I want you. I want you to. I faked all night waiting to be with you. Oh, I know for making. Okay? It's a guy thing. Tell me. Tell me, how are you going to do it? How are you going to bring strife to Noah and Paloma? Not me, Tabs. Someone else. Well, who? Hmm. I have someone lined up who poses a real threat to Noah and Paloma. Someone who's really dangerous. And that someone is close to them, even as we speak. Well, <laughs> tell me, tell me. No, no, I can't ruin the surprise. Oh, drat. But I will tell you that Noah and Paloma have no idea how much danger they're in. Huh? Yeah. Huh? 
wonder who that is. What is going on? I heard Rebecca yelling at you. You know how Gwen's mother can get, right? Over what? It was nothing that you need to worry about, okay? Did Aunt Gwen really see Mama's reflection in the mirror? No, buddy. It was, it was just her imagination. I'm just sorry that all the commotion woke you up again. I'm sorry, too. I know you wish you could see Mama like me, Aunt Gwen did. Buddy, um, we've been through this. Mom's gone. She, she's, she's not coming back. But I really thought she was here before. It seems so real when she sang me the lullaby. Just go to sleep, okay? This was just a dream. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and moonbeams are waiting for thee. I wish it were real, too. I wish that more than anything in the world. I wish she was right here. If only I could tell that Billy am alive. Ow! Honey, I'm sorry. Okay, but look, keep repeating after me. I did not see Teresa's reflection in the mirror. I did not see... But I did. Honey, Teresa is dead. She could not be in here with you and Ethan. Look, you need to believe me. I saw her reflection in that mirror as clear as day. One more time, all right? You saw a rat or a bat or something else. You did not see Teresa because she's dead. Look, the only thing I, I can think of is that maybe, possibly it was in my imagination. Maybe. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. She's dead. I, okay, I didn't see her. <sighs> Thank goodness. That's better. Now, when Ethan comes back in here, you have to make him forget all about Teresa. Of course I'm going to try to. I don't know if I can. Well, have you tried the jumper cables yet? Mother, of course not. Well, why not? Oh, honey, no wonder Ethan's mind was wandering when you were trying to seduce him. Uh, Ethan and I are just fine together. Just fine together. If that were true, then neither one of you would have had the time to look in the mirror to imagine Teresa looking back. Okay, you need to move off this subject. <sighs> fine. But if you want to be with Ethan, you have got to be with Ethan. Forget about Teresa. You cannot let the shark-eating senorita keep haunting you. It's nice to know Ethan still loves me. I would give anything to have your mother back. We had so many plans. We had so many dreams for you and Jane. But hey, we have each other still. That's never going to change, right? I promise I'll always be here for you, too. It's a deal. I just want to be there with them. I just want to hold them. Because if Gwen and Rebecca have to stay dead, or one each will kill my entire family, there's got to be a way that I can pay her back. But how? Look, I don't know what more I can do to try and make Ethan forget about Teresa. I said all the right things, and I certainly did all the right things. Okay, well... Honey, I think I may know what the problem is. And I love you, honey. I am telling you this because I love you. No one else will tell you, but... But I will. It's clear you must be frigid and dull in the sack. <laughs> oh, you think so? Well, I'll have you know I happen to be excellent in bed, and Ethan's never had any complaints. Well, has it ever occurred to you that maybe he's just being kind? You know, he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh. Honey, listen to me. You have got to stop being a prude and, and learn to be lewd. Like... Just 
snap these suckers onto him and rip him off. I promise you, he'll go wild. And, and uh, nothing says love quite like bondage. You can just uh, cuff him to the bed, drip some candle wax on him, and you will be screaming, oh, sweet mystery of life in no time. Uh, I don't need your sex toys to pleasure that man. Okay. Fine. Just keep Ethan focused on you. Even if that means that you have to send little Ethan to boarding school and get a nanny for Jane and Jonathan. You gotta focus on keeping Ethan happy. That way, you won't even think about Teresa. A nanny? I... You've kept this witch in suspense long enough. Who is it that's following Noah and Paloma? Why don't you look in your magic bowl? That's who's following the hapless couple? Yep. Pretty good, huh? Huh? You are downright mean and malicious. Is your house haunted? Not that I know of. Well, it can't be Esme's attacker since neither one of us slept with her. Right? Shh, shh. Listen. Oh, my God. That's Mama. She didn't spend the night at the mansion after all. Well, we'll just wait till she goes to sleep. We have to leave. She doesn't even know we're here. Come on. If she were walked in here and found us together, I would die. All right. I guess we can find some place else to go to be alone together. I just hope it's soon. Oh, God, real soon. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, I must say, your plans for Noah and Paloma are mean and hateful. Thanks, witch. But that person that you've got following them... I don't think they pose as much of a threat as you think. Tell me, Tabs. Can you really overstate the threat to the human heart? Huh? Huh? Oh. Okay, well... You ready to go upstairs? <clears throat> Sleep? Eventually. Well, we could go to bed. Or, uh, you could stay down here. Are you still hungry? For food? No. <laughs> For you? Yes. Mm. It's funny, because, you know, I've been sort of craving you, too. Mm. Why crave something we can satisfy? Mm. Especially since so how Noah and Paloma are gone, and Jessica and the baby are visiting Reese and his girlfriend. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Oh. 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 Sam. Mm -hmm. <gasps> do you think there might be an empty room at the B&B? No, it's full of skiers right now. Every place in town is booked. Oh. My friend David, he's out of town. I, I think he went to Canada or something like that. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, voicemail. Don't worry, babe. At least you tried. Yeah. So what do we do now? You know, if I made more money, we could drive into Boston and we could stay at the Copley, but... It doesn't matter how much money you made. We still have to save every penny we can for our wedding and our house. That's right. It's just a little frustrating. At least we'll be frustrated together. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, honey. Won't you at least let me show you how to... How did it go with little Ethan? We had a nice, nice talk before we went to bed. Okay, good. And I'm sorry, Rebecca was right. Well, of course I was. But about what? I'm sure that the reflection of Teresa you saw in the mirror was probably due to all the stress that I've been putting you through because I haven't been letting her go. 
in no way meant for you to feel second rate or second best. You're not, and I apologize. I'm really going to concentrate on you and the children from now on. I think that's the best way for me to let go of her. Oh. <laughs> Ethan's moving on with Gwen. There's nothing I can do to stop. Do you feel better? Yeah, and look, I'm sorry. I, I, I really didn't mean to push you to forget Teresa. Oh, heavens, no. It's just that you know I cannot compete with a ghost. You, you won't have to, I promise. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you two alone so you can uh, make up. Good night. I really, I really do want to make it up to you for upsetting you. Teresa is my my past. You are my future. I hope you mean that, because it's the only way we can be happy. I mean it. You have my word. Along with the rest of you, I hope. I am yours. I am all yours. Mm -hmm. to be alone together. We just have to think a little harder. Mm, babe, I can't wait until we get married and and have our own place so we don't have to sneak around like this. Yeah. We'll be husband and wife soon. And Kay and Miguel will be husband and wife. <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me from marrying you. I must say, I am impressed by what you have in store for Noah and Paloma. You've made it so their relationship doesn't stand a chance of surviving. I do enjoy torturing mortals in love. Yeah, well, just torture away. As long as you leave Indora and me alone. You have my word. forget Teresa if it's the last thing I do. God, where, where, where did you learn this stuff, Gwen? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, way to go, girl. Uh, you're going to make him forget all about that little bitch, Teresa. <laughs> you have never been like this before. Well, I'm free now. I am free to be with you without having to worry about Teresa. Well, I'm all yours now. I'm all yours. I'm